Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a Solutions Architect here at ClickTech. Today we're going to look at using expressions to select uh, values within a field. So for example, we have uh, this uh, PTID uh, field here, and we've summed it up based on this data. And you'll notice that the sum of the, um, the data in some cases is negative. And we may want to isolate those uh, individual uh, PTID members. So to do that, what we can do is we can go directly to the list box, or we could go directly to the drop-down uh, menu uh, on the table, exactly the same either way. And we could type in equal sum data is less than zero. And that will find all the PTIDs where the uh, sum of data is less than zero. I'm going to enter, and there we go, we've made that selection. The um, disadvantage of using this technique is, you know, for some of the end users, they may find it challenging to remember what to type in and so forth. So we might want to help them along and maybe create a button to do this. So we'll do that now. So we'll right click, new sheet object, button, and we'll call this negative uh, data or sum data. And then we'll go to the actions. And we're going to add an action. We're going to do a selection. We're going to select in field. We're going to select in field PT ID. And then for the search string, uh, we're going to say if some data less than zero, then select PT ID. Now the thing with that is we need to then do this across all of the various PTIDs. Uh, we want to do it for each individual PTID. So we'll just uh, use the agger function, A-G-G-R, and they'll say do that for each PTID. So this should work. The thing is, is this is going to calculate this and then make, the, make those selections in in the uh, field, and that's not going to actually render the right the right uh, information because it'll actually push all those numbers together and concatenate them together and put one big long number um, of all the P, um, one concatenation of all the PTIDs. So we don't want to um, have that calculate quite yet. We actually want to put this expression into the search field. So the way we do that is we put equals and then put single quotes around everything. And what that's going to do is that's going to take this expression and just like we typed the expression of some data uh, less than zero into the, uh, the PTID window. We're now basically going to uh, type this into the um, equivalent of a global search window. So we'll click OK on that. And don't forget, there we have equals, single quotes, equals, the expression, and then single quotes. So we'll click OK. We'll click OK. And then we get this field that comes up like that. And then we click on there, and that works. So this is my preferred way of doing it. Um, some people do find that the, uh, the expression here gets a little bit confusing. So I can show you an alternate solution. We can copy the clipboard, the object, and then we'll paste the object. And then we'll go into Properties. And instead of doing it um, with the single quotes, what we can do is do a concatenation so we use the concat function, take that out. And then the other thing we're going to want to do with the concat function is we're going to put a pipe between each, uh, each of those uh, values that we return. The final thing we need to do is to return that in brackets. So we're just going to add the brackets manually to the front. Oh, we've got to put single quotes around them. And add the brackets manually to the back. And we'll click OK, and we'll click OK. So now we have this second button down here. You notice if we push on that, we get a slightly different rendering here. We can see the individual um, PTIDs that were selected, and they're separated by pipes and, and, and surrounded by brackets. So we have the, the calculation way of doing it, or we have this way of doing it. And it's completely up to you which, uh, which you prefer. They do function equally as well. So that includes our quick little tips and tricks here on using expressions to uh, select values within a, a field. Uh, please do uh, use ClickView Community and also consult our partners and expert services for uh, in more in-depth assistance. Thank you very much.